Hello students, let's do ratio and proportion unitary method in this exercise. Exercise 10F, page number 125 and we are going to work out sums on the unitary method. The method in which we first find the value of one quantity and then use it to find the value of the required quantities is called the unitary method. So we need to always find the value of that one quantity first. So let's read the first question. The price of 25 identical articles is rupees 1750. Now we have to first find the price of one article and then find the price of 13 articles. So right now price of 25 has been given to us. So cost of 25 identical articles is given to us as rupees. 1750. Now we have to find the cost of one article. To find the cost of one, we need to do division. That is, we will divide rupees 1750 by 25. So when we divide it by 25, we will know the value of one article. So let's begin 1750 divided by 25. Let's multiply 25 into 7. 7 fives are 35, carry 3. 7 twos are 14, 15, 16, 17. So that's 175. So 25 into 7 is 175. Let's subtract this 0. And then we have this 0 which we can take up. And minus your remainder is 0. So now the cost of one article we have found to be 70 rupees. So we have found the cost of one article. Now we have to find the cost of 13 articles. So the first part was division. Whenever you have to find for one, it's division. Now we have to find for many, that is for 13. So cost of 13 articles will be, the cost of one is 70 multiplied by 13. So when you multiply 70 by 13, we will get the cost of 13 articles. So let's do that. 70 into 13. Three zeros are zero. Three sevens are 21. Zero. One zeros are zero. One sevens are seven. So plus, now we get one. Two plus seven is nine. Nine hundred and ten. So the cost of 13 articles is rupees 910. So we found the cost of one article to be 70 rupees. And then the cost of 13 articles to be 910 rupees. Question 2. A motorbike travels 330 kilometers consuming 5 liters of petrol. How much distance will it cover consuming first 1 liter of petrol and then 2.5 liters of petrol? So let's start. Distance covered with 5 liters of petrol is how much? 330 kilometers. Now we need to find the distance covered with 1 liter of petrol. So that will be 330 kilometers divided by 5. 5 is 5 liters. So 5 liters. So let's divide this. 330 divided by 5. 33 we have there. So 5 sixes are 30 minus Again, I bring down 3 and I have 30 there again. So, 5 sixes are 30. So, minus. So, we have found the distance that can be covered with 1 liter of petrol is 66 kilometers. Now, we have to find the distance covered with 2.5 liters of petrol. So, with 1 liter of petrol, you can cover 66 kilometers. So, 2.5 will be 66 into 2.5 liters. So let's multiply 66 into 2.5. So let's ignore the decimal point and multiply 66 into 25. 5 sixes are 30, carry 3. 5 sixes are 30, 33. Second step, 2 sixes are 12, carry 1. 2 sixes are 12 plus 1, 13. Now we need to add this up. 0, 3 plus 2 is 5. 3 plus 3 is 6 and 1. So now 
the distance covered with 2.5 liters of petrol is the answer that we will get after multiplying. Now let's go back to the question and look at the decimal place. There is one decimal place in the question. That means in my answer also there should be one decimal place after the point one number. So the point comes there. So the distance covered will be 165.0 or simply 165 kilometers. So this is our answer. So we've done the first part of the answer. Distance covered with one liter of petrol we found to be 66 kilometers. Then the distance covered with 2.5 liters of petrol is 165 kilometers. Question three. If the cost of one dozen identical soap bars is 460 rupees and 80 paisa, what will be the cost of? Now there are three questions for us to find. First, the cost of one soap bar. Second, the cost of 15 soap bars. And third, the cost of three dozen soap bars. So let's begin with the first one. So cost of one dozen soap bars has already been given to us as 460 rupees. So 460 rupees and 80 pesos. This is the cost of one dozen soap bars. Now, to find the cost of one soap bar, we have to divide 460 rupees and 80 paisa by what is the number? Now, one dozen means 12. One dozen is 12. So here we divide by 12. So let's do that division. 460.80 divided by 12. We don't have to remove the decimal point for division. So let's divide this number by 12. 12 2s are 24, 12 3s are 36. We can write that. 12 3s are 36 minus 0, 100. Now we need to get a number close to 100. Now let's try 12 into 8. 8 twos are 16, carry 1. 8 ones are 8 plus 1, 9. So 96, we can use that. 12 eights are 96. Now we need to minus. So we let's borrow from here. So 0, 10, this is 9 and 10. 10 minus 6 is 4, 9 minus 9 is 0. Now there is a point which I need to carry on top. Now I can bring 8 down. My number is 48. 12 fours are 48 minus 0. So I can put that 0 above and then I subtract. So I have got the cost of one so far to be 38 rupees and 40 paisa. So cost of one so far is 38 rupees and 40 paisa. So we have found the first part of the answer. Uh, cost of one soap bar. So that is done. Now let's go to the second question. 15 soap bars. We need to find the cost of 15 soap bars. So we know the cost of one soap bar. So to find the cost of 15 soap bars, we multiply 38.40 rupees. That is the cost of one soap bar into 15. So let's do this multiplication. So we have to multiply 38. 0 0.40 into 15. Let's ignore the point and multiply. 3840. So that's 3840 into 15. 5 zeros are 0. 5 fours are 20 carry 2. 5 eights are 40 plus 2 is 42 carry 4. 5 threes are 15 plus 4 is 19. Second step. 1 zeros are 0, 1 fours are 4, 1 eights are 8, and 1 threes are 3. Now we need to add this up. 0, 0, 2 plus 4 is 6, 9 plus 8 is 17, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5. So we've got this number. Now let's go back to the question and see the number of decimal places. There are two decimal places, so your answer also should have two decimal places. So the point comes here. So what do I have now? 576.0 or simply 576. So that is the cost of 15 soap bars, 576 rupees. So this is the second question that we have answered. The cost of 15 soap bars is 576 rupees. 
So now let's go to the third part of the question where we've been asked to find the cost of three dozen soap bars. Now the cost of one dozen soap bars has been given to us in the question that is 460 rupees and 80 paisa. This is the cost of one dozen soap bars. So the cost of three dozen soap bars will be 460 rupees 80 paisa into three because this is the amount for one dozen soap bars. So we've been asked to find for three. We just have to multiply by three. So let's do that multiplication. 460.80 into three. Let's ignore the point. 46080 into three. Three zeros are zero. Three eights are 24 carry two. Three zeros are zero plus two. Then three sixes are 18 carry one. 3 4s are 12 plus 1, 13. So now we have this number. We need to go back to the question and see how many numbers there are after the point. After the point, there are 2. So in our answer also, after the point, there should be 2 numbers. So the point comes here. So now we have found the cost of 3 dozen soap bars to be 1,382 rupees and 40 paisa. So we have found the answer to all 3 questions. This is the answer to the last part, three dozen soap bars. Question 4. The cost of 35 envelopes is given as rupees 105. How many envelopes can be bought for 90 rupees? So this is a different kind of question, isn't it? The cost of 35 envelopes is given and they are not asking us to find the cost this time. Instead, they are asking us to find how many envelopes can be bought for this amount. So let's start with this word itself. So it says number of envelopes that can be bought for 105 rupees first. And we know that is 35 envelopes. So let's write 35. So because it's unitary method, we should always find the value for 1. So number of envelopes that can be bought for 1 rupee. And whenever it is 1, we divide. So this is 35 divided by 105 rupees. So let's write that down. 35 by 105 as a fraction. Now let's see if we can reduce this to the lowest term. We can divide both by 35 itself. Both can be divided by 35. So that will be 35 ones are 35 and 35 threes are 105. So the number of envelopes that can be bought for 1 rupee is 1 by 3. Now let's go on. Number of envelopes that can be bought for 90 rupees is what we are asked to find. So for 1 rupee you can get 1 by 3 envelopes. Now for 90 rupees it will be 1 by 3 into 90. Now we can cancel 3 and 90. 3 threes are 9 and add the 0 so that becomes 30. So number of envelopes that can be bought for 90 rupees is 30. So that is our answer for 90 rupees we can buy 30 envelopes. So our final answer is 30 envelopes. Question 5. The cost of 8 cans of juice is given to us. Now they are asking us what will be the cost of 6 cans of juice. So 8 cans is given and cost of 6 cans is asked. So this is a simpler one. Cost of 8 cans of juice is 280 rupees. So first we need to find the cost of one can of juice that is 280 rupees divided by 8. So let's do that division 280 divided by 8. The numbers 28, 8 threes are 24 minus 4, 40, 8 fives are 40. Minus. So now we have found the cost of one can of juice to be 35 rupees. Now let's find the cost of six cans of juice. So one can is 35. So six cans will be 35 into 6. So let's multiply 35 into 6. Six fives are 30, carry 3. Six threes are 18, 19, 20, 21. 
So we have found the cost of six cans of juice to be 210 rupees. So that is our answer, 210. Question 6. For 378 rupees, nine cans of juice can be bought. Now how many cans of juice can be bought for 504 rupees? So let's start with this last part. Here it says how many cans can be bought. Okay, cans of juice. So number of juice cans that can be bought for 378 rupees will be 9. You can buy 9 cans for 378 rupees. Now we need to find for 1. Number of juice cans that can be bought for 1 rupee will be 9 divided by 378. So let's write that as a fraction and see if we can reduce it. So 9 divided by 378. Let's reduce this to the lowest term. We can divide both by 9. So divide both by 9 and see what we get. 9 ones are 9. 9 fours are 36 and there's one left, 18. 9 twos are 18. So here we get 1 by 42. So, number of juice cans that can be bought for 1 rupee is 1 by 42. Now, let's find out how many juice cans can be bought for 504 rupees. For 1 rupee, it is 1 by 42. So, for 504 rupees, it will be that into 504. So, when you multiply the numerators, you get 1 into 504 is 504 divided by 42. So let's do this division. So 504 divided by 42. 42 ones are 42 minus, now let's borrow, this becomes 4. 10 minus 2 is 8 and 4. 42 into 2 is 84 minus 0. So here we get the answer as 12. That means the number of juice cans that can be bought for 504 rupees is 12. So we can buy 12 juice cans for rupees 504. So this is the answer to question 6. Question 7. A motorbike travels 425 kilometers in 5 hours. How much distance will be covered by it in 3.2 hours? So start your statement with what they are asking us to find. Distance covered in 5 hours is 425 kilometers. This is in 5 hours. So we need to find the distance covered in 1 hour. That will be 425 kilometers divided by 5 hours. Then we will find the distance covered in one hour. So let's divide this 425 divided by 5. Let's take the number 42. 5 eighths are 40 minus 2 and 5. 5 fives are 25. 0. So now I have 85. So the distance covered in one hour is 85 kilometers. Now We've been asked to find the distance covered in 3.2 hours. So let's see that the distance covered in 3.2 hours will be the distance covered in 1 hour multiplied by 3.2 hours. So let's do this multiplication. So that will be 85 into 3.2. Let's ignore the point and multiply. 85 into 32. 2 fives are 10, carry 1. 2 eights are 16 plus 1, 17, 0. 3 fives are 15, carry 1. 3 eights are 24 plus 1, 25. Now let's add this up. 0, 7 plus 5 is 12, carry 1. 2 plus 5 is 7, 2. So 2720. Let's go back to the question and see how many places after the point there's one place, so here I'll put my point here. So what do I get? Distance covered in 3.2 hours is 272.0 or 272 kilometers. So this is my answer. 
So we'll stop with that for now, children. We'll continue the remaining questions in our next video. Thank you.